Okay, so what is up guys, I'm Pitsal Samia and in this video we're going to talk about a new effect from Cinebax called the Fire Effects. Now I've already made a video on this pack but they have made a very major update adding loads of different kinds of new overlays, new transitions on this pack. So today we're going to review about this new update and all the new transitions this new pack has. With that being said, I'm going to do this review in Final Cut Pro but the same logic applies to both Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro as well and all the other non-linear editing softwares out there. So rest assured all of you guys are covered. All the basics are totally the same on every software out there because it is mainly the blending mode and some keyframing and speed ramping here and there which is the main points. With that being said, if you guys like this video, then do make sure to subscribe, comment down below, like this video and we have to play with that YouTube algorithm. So make sure to make sure to comment down below because engagement is the key here. With that being said, let's just start it. Okay, so hey guys, and today's shout out goes to 320 Tech, awesome tech videos, check out his channel. The second shout out goes to Hugh Black, man, amazing thumbnails, man, really cool thumbnails. Do make sure to check out his channel, both the links are there in the description below. Also, if you guys want a chance for me to shout you out in the next video, then do make sure to comment down in this video about what you guys think about this particular video, and I'll choose any one of you for the next video. Piece. Again, there's a free version and the paid version of this pack. Both the links are there in the description below. Make sure to check it out. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into Final Cut Pro and say what this particular pack is all about. Okay, so once you are in Final Cut Pro, you want to see this. So these are the sequences which I'm going to use. This will be the position where I'm going to put the transition on. So first of all, you have to download the free pack or the paid pack from the link in the description below. After that, you want to get this folder. And you're going to get a lot of files, a lot of transitions, a lot of overlays all together. And, and this is super tricky to make. So hats off to Cinepass for making this particular transition. So I'm going to show examples of two transitions. One is this paper transition, paper burn transition. And another one is the normal fire effects transition. Other than those, all the details of other transitions, other effects I have shown in my previous video, make sure to check them out. Again, right off the bat, I'm going to say that the paper one transition is a bit trickier compared to a normal drag and drop transition, but yet it is super simple. So just follow the steps and you're going to get this thing done in no time. So you're going to get two files. One is the matte file, which is this one in black and white. And the second one is the normal transition file, which is the normal paper one transition. So what you have to do is first cut at least 10 to 20 frames of the first clip just like this, at least keep it around one second or two seconds, otherwise this effect will not look good. And then what you're going to do is drag the second clip below the first clip just like this. And then after that, cut the second clip also at that position. Again, it is not necessary, but you can do so. Just like this and after that, drag this matte clip over that portion. Just like this and drag the transition clip over this position as well. After that, you have to increase the speed of both the clips, maybe to around 1000%, but make sure whatever you speed it up to, make sure to speed up both the clips at the same time. Like if it is 1000 for one clip, make sure it is 1000 for the second clip also. The timings or the second or the time code for both of the clips should match. If they don't align properly, this effect will not look good. So make sure to do that. After that, go to the effects panel, search in Luma key and drag the luma key onto the black and white clip just like this after that you can see that all the black parts are disappearing and that is okay then go to the black and white clip go to the blending mode and change the blending mode to stencil alpha and then after that you can see it is getting inverted and that is what we want and then after that what you have to do is just select both the black and white clip and the main clip which you have just cut together and compound them by clicking alt or option plus g and then this particular transition is ready to be used and as you can see it looks pretty flawless and to spice this up you can add a burn effects sound effect from epidemic sound or from anywhere else also they give a LUT pack also to give a little bit of warm subtlety colors to this entire look if you guys like that look you guys can use their LUTs which you can get in the full pack as well all the links are there in the description below there are other transitions also such as a normal fire transition which is pretty simple to make just simply drag the transition onto the file between the two clips speed this particular file up you know change the blending mode to screen all light in add some sound effects your transition is ready to be used 
and it looks pretty good other than those it has bunch of other overlays too which you can add up at different scenarios at different conditions you know just simply drag this overlay inside the timeline cut all the extra portions which were needed change the blending mode to screen and you know add some cross dissolves in front in and out to make it look good and it is going to be absolutely fantastic but in my case i'm not liking this particular effect with the transition so i'm going to keep this hidden but in your case you have an option you guys can keep it anywhere anytime in any particular way especially for music videos travel videos and any kind of creative videos this kind of effects really sell a lot so make sure to try this out again both the links are there in the description below both the paid version as well as the free version so make sure to check it out i hope you guys like this pack i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video then do make sure to subscribe comment down below like this video because we have to play with that youtube algorithm with that being said i'm pixel sammy i'll be back with a new video guys peace out